announcement. God likes weird people. I know you're saying, what? what? What are you talking about, Brother Bo? Ah, let me share with you that I've been here on planet Earth for more than 57 years. And here's what I know. God loves and likes weird people because there are so many of them. And he probably had so much fun creating all of us with our different quirks and idiosyncrasies and personalities and preferences. Oh, yes, with different colors and races and ethnicities and cultures. It's amazing how different we all are and yet how he loves all of us. And this weird person that I really, really know is myself. Yes, my sons call me their goofy dad who walks around with awful, lousy clothes and doesn't care. I really don't care. <laughs> I walk around with my hair standing up and I don't care uh, because I seldom look at myself in the mirror. Yes, I'm weird in that way. And it has gotten weirder because I've been working on my health and my calisthenics, you know, working on push-ups and so at random places like in hotel lobbies or, or in restaurants, I would just fall on the floor and do 20. <laughs> And my sons will just walk away quietly and say, we don't know that guy. We don't know him, you know. <laughs> anyway, my wife has her own weirdness in a beautiful way. She is a little Twin Stars fan. She collects these things. We even went to a theme park dedicated to little Twin Stars and I was looking around and everybody who had little kids with them, you know, two years old, three years old, four years old, five years old. And, and my wife, well, she's the one. She's the little child. It, re it reminds her of her childhood and she's so happy when she has these little things. My friends, and, and isn't it beautiful that we have all these wonderful weirdness, quote unquote, and celebrate them. Can I invite you to think about the kingdom of God. Why? Because in our gospel for today, Jesus said that his father is preparing a house with many rooms. It, it is a symbol of how all of us in different races and, and personalities and, and, and gifts and limitations and weaknesses, all of these beautiful children of God are part of his kingdom and how he is inviting us to love that neighbor that's a little bit difficult to deal with, you know, with, with very rough edges in his personality or that prayer meeting member that, that's with you and you scratch your head. Why is that prayer meeting member part of the same prayer meeting? Why, why doesn't he go to another prayer group, you know? Or that other person who's, who's serving with you at, at the ministry and, and that office mate that, oh my gosh, why is this person always like this, quote unquote, dot, 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 fill in the blanks, whatever, whatever that, that thing is that's driving you nuts. All of these are weaknesses or idiosyncrasies or quirks that you also have. It's just different. And so God is calling you to be more patient. God is calling you to forbear. God is calling you to love the way He loves. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you so much, Lord, for being a God who embraces all of us with all this weaknesses and weirdness and we pray that you give us the power to love to be patient to forbear in jesus mighty name amen and amen calling on all parents if you are interested in homeschooling your child my friend Almost 20 years ago, I started the Catholic Filipino Academy Homeschool. And since then, we've been able to help thousands of parents homeschool their children and raise them up in the best possible way. Come and join us and unleash your children's potential. Go to this page and find out more about it.